the sweet, sweet whistle. It was one of the most rugged planes of World War II. A 10,000 pound beast that was more like a tank than an airplane. Also came speed and devastating firepower. A true war machine. Now Hangar 9 has an electric fun scale version. With two power options, it should surely meet the needs of any sport flyer. This P-47 is not a bind and fly model but it does include a smart tech electronic speed controller. The model is an all wood construction with solid wood control surfaces that are pre-hinged. Even the control horns are factory installed. Though they were a little loose and needed a bit of tightening. As a classic fun scale model, the fuselage is a simplified profile but it is well built and attractive with scale-like details and cooling vents. Servos are pre-installed, as are the motor and smart speed controller. It's impossible to miss the numerous weights on top of the motor box. Removing a large hatch gives access to the battery area. Note that the model uses the larger IC5 battery connector. Hatch uses guide pins and magnets to keep from falling off in flight. <laughs> I look forward to the day companies stop using bright white paint for pilot eyes. Fiberglass cowl is nicely finished with panel line details and multiple colors. Blind nuts are used to hold it in place. An optional vacuum form dummy radial engine is a nice touch. Wings look to be a partial open structure D2 construction. Again, servos and electronic retracts are installed at the factory. LR linkage is sufficiently heavy duty. Decal sheet has options for two different liveries. Interesting that the factory uses the same sheet to pre-apply a few decals from it. To finish out the parts are the wing tube, wood prop, and various other bits. Alright, so the first step is to fish out the servo leads. Then slide in the wing tube. The manual states that you can optionally glue the wing halves together if you plan to fly on 6S. But instead, I simply tape the wing halves together. A bottom hatch on the tail reveals the hole for mounting the vertical tail. Everything slides into place. and is held in place with screws. But since I will also be flying with a high power setup, I elected to heed the manual's recommendation and epoxy the tail on after carefully removing the covering. While I was at it, I brushed a thin layer of epoxy on the battery tray for better Velcro adhesion. A couple of drops of thin CA hardens the wood for the tail wheel screws. At this point, we could connect the tail clevises. For glue, I used Gorilla brand silicone sealant. At first, the cowl didn't quite fit right. Until I realized one of those nose weights was interfering. So I just moved it over a bit. There we go. Kapla! Now we can mount the wing. And affix the belly plate with screws. I'll be using the AR637T telemetry receiver, which plays very nicely with the Avion speed controller. Some Velcro for the battery pack. Hey, the retracts work! The included wood prop is for a 4S battery pack. So we'll start with that. Yeah, it's starting to look like an airplane. Just need to stick on a nose art of choice. 
And with that, we are ready to go. Hey, wait a minute. The factory installed insignia is on the wrong wing. Stars and bars go on top of the left wing. Fortunately, I could peel off the decal by carefully pulling it up. And placing it on the correct side after cleaning the surface. A covering iron smooths out the perturbations of removal. Okay, crisis averted. Now, we are ready. At the field, it was time for a shakedown. Hangar 9 Electric P47. We're starting off with a 4S and the wood prop. I think it's a 13 something, 13.8. <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> I forgot. Anyways, control check is good. All right, let's go. Full throttle, a little bit of right rudder. Gear up. She's climbing. Doing pretty good. Back up the throttle a little bit. All right, let's bring her around. This is on low rates. Controls are really nice and mild. All right, so we'll come around. It's doing good. Nice little roll there to the left. Try a loop. Looks really nice. So have Cuban 8. Or I mean split S. It is handling really nice. Really nice smooth flying plane. I was instantly smitten with it. Try a pass. It's not bad. That's on the 4S. See if shift for climb performance. We'll pull her straight up. She's going, 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 going. Ah, it finally petered out. Good performance though. More than adequate. I'd say 4S power is really quite nice. Show some airbags here. A little snap. <laughs> Come around. Try a knife edge. It, it holds it. Not bad. Let's try some inverted here. Just a touch of down. The P47 sunny side down felt very stable. I could have flown all day like that. Very stable. <laughs> nice. Let's bring her around, try some how she handles low speed. All right, let's pull the throttle back. And feed some up, some up, and bobbing a little bit. That's really nice. It's kind of a slow, oh, very mild. Very nice. Try on the higher rates on ailerons. We'll come around. Oh yeah, definitely more sensitive. Oh yeah. <laughs> High rate ailerons were surprisingly quick. Yeah, I can really crank it up. Some snap. There was no surprise that the model was very snappy. I say this is quite nice. All right. Put the gear down. Here's down. We'll bring her in and try the next level up in performance. Ooh, got me a little hot. Yeah, my approach was a little sloppy. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that used to just cross one right. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> grass a little longer back there. Back in the pits, it was time to swap out props for the 6S power trials. I quickly changed out the included wood prop for a smaller APC prop. A smaller diameter prop is used to keep the power draw reasonable. With a 5,000 milliamp hour 6S pack, we are ready to burn holes in the sky. Alright, here we 
we go. All right, six ass power. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it was time to mow the grass. Six S power. There we go. Gear up. Got a little bit of a different sound to it this time. Is there anything different? It feels about the same. Whoa, sounds different. Yeah, it sounds very different. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a sweet, sweet whistle. Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> Upgrades. <laughs> ah, very nice. <laughs> Daddy like. You can pull up vertical. Wow, yeah, still got very good climb performance, even with a smaller prop. It'll just go on. <laughs> I just beat it out. <laughs> That was me, not the plane. It also had lots of power. The performance difference was stark. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's why you glue the wings and tail. Feel the power of 6S. Doesn't really feel any different in the weight, but man, it does. Uh... What's on step? It's definitely. Can't talk. Flying fast. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> this is more fun than it should be. I just never get tired of the high speed flybys. <laughs> I don't have to say, <laughs> I'm drooling all over myself. All right, let's go take her up to a stall test. Put her to the wind a little bit. Back off the throttle, pull up to an elevator. It's feeding some more up. There uh, we go, let's pull up. Wow, still very well balanced, very well handled. That's full up, just straightforward stall. <laughs> of course, I'm sure it will do a quite nice knife edge, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually quite more stable than I would have thought doing a knife edge. Ugh. <laughs> All right, let's bring her in. Will the second time be a charm? Ooh. <laughs> I keep letting along. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> yeah. That was worse than last time. Held the throttle in a little too long again. Yeah. Time to go for a walk. So I'm really starting to think that there's no such thing as a bad flying P47 model. Now, true to form, uh, this P47 is a delight to fly with no bad habits. The ability to easily use either four, five, or six cell battery packs means you can adapt to your flying skill and yet keep an honest flying model. Uh, I may try setting the flaperons a, a little bit to help bleed off speeds in my landings as there are no flaps, but I like that you can simply slow the model down early in the pattern without worrying about falling out of the sky. So if you want a low stress yet fun and surprisingly aerobatic warbird, then you can't go wrong with a Hangar 9 Fun Scale P47. All right, let's bring her in.